ST66 trade with Silverholic. With the premium of silver so high, it's nearly impossible to find a decent deal on any silver bullion products. Fortunately for us, our community is a vast source of bullion products that we have access for possible purchases or trades. Sovereign coins, generic rounds, generic and vintage bars, numismatics, and from our friends across the pond, access to foreign junk silver and other interesting pieces. Then you have the endless designs and weights of all the community's custom poured pieces. No matter what you're interested in, I'll bet that you can find it somewhere within our community. So, in the current absence of any decent market prices, I would suggest the option of buying or trading within our own community. And that's precisely what me and Silverholic decided to do. I had some pieces he was interested in, and he happened to have some of my favorite generic brand, so a trade agreement was struck, and the rest, as they say, is history. Because Silverholic is one of our Canadian brothers, full snail mail was in effect, but I'm happy to say that his package has finally arrived. Ah, here is one of his channel stickers. Very nice. I also included one of my own in his package. A very sharp design. Good packing. Everything is well protected. And voila! Five of my favorite generic brand bars from Sunshine Minting. When it comes to generic bullion for me, nothing compares to the quality and security of Sunshine Mini products. Five beautiful, pristine, one ounce Sunshine bars. Now I'm not a big bar stacker. I stick mainly to the American Silver Eagles as they comprise the foundation of my stack. But one of the great things about having bars in your stack is that they are usually acquired at a price as close to spot as you can get. Stacking bars is a great way to increase your stack's dollar cost average. With my ASEs, the average cost has been between two and four dollars over spot, which does drive up my stack's dollar cost average. But I feel that when it comes time for me to begin to liquidate or convert my stack in the future, the unmanipulated metal spot price will more than compensate for this reasonable markup. So the question is, what did I give up for this outstanding haul of 5 ounces of Sunshine Minting Bars? The 2016 Queen's Beast Lion of England is what really caught Silverholic's eye. Because I generally purchase extra of the first in a series, I had one to spare for trade. Without a doubt, the Lion of England is the most valuable piece in the series according to secondary market prices. 
This one has some milk spotting, but the one I traded was clean. And it was also in the original screw-on capsule that came directly from the Royal Mint. The Lion of England is my favorite of the series, and probably will remain so as the final release left in the 10 coin series is the Greyhound of Richmond. The next part of the trade involved one of my 2016 Discovery Shark Week rounds. I bought 10 of these in 2016, thinking that it would be the beginning of an annual release whenever the Discovery Channel aired their Shark Week, but evidently this didn't happen. So I offered one up for trade and Silverholic agreed. These rounds have a super mere background finish. Silverholic also chose one of my Walking Liberty SMIs. This is a copy of the Walking Liberty which appeared on the America's half dollar coins from 1916 through 1947. It also has this scrambled indicia, or SI, which was created using micro-engraving technology and helps to verify the authenticity and protects against counterfeiting. So there you have it, our trade. I can only hope that Silverholic is as happy with his trade as I am. If you want to buy, sell, or trade, reach out to our community and let them know. I'm sure there's something out there for you and I'll bet you have something that someone else wants too. You'll never know until you ask. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. If you're not yet a subscriber and you enjoyed the content, hit the subscribe button. Then be sure to select the notification bell to be notified as soon as I post up new content. Thank you to all who take the time to like, share, comment, and subscribe. It is greatly appreciated. If you enjoy learning about precious metals and want to know where you can go to ask questions, try out the ST66 Discord. It's totally free and open to all. You can check out videos and articles on current events, monitor conversations, or you may choose to even chime in yourself and be a part of them. The link is in the show more section below. It's active 24-7 as we have moderators from other time zones across the pond, so even if you're a night owl, you should be able to spark up a conversation anytime. Check it out. I'll look forward to seeing you there.